Good evening. I'm Carl Reiner, and I'm proud to be returning to Twilight Theater for my eighth year as director in residence. I've had the opportunity to direct many fine actors, but as usual, my biggest thrill is working with you, the viewer. As always, on our Playhouse Minus One presentations, you at home will have a chance to act with some of the biggest stars in Hollywood in an original play written just for you and directed by one of Hollywood's great directors. <laughs> your lines and your stage directions will be flashed on your TV screens. All you do is read your lines and act out the directions. Perhaps we'd better rehearse. Suppose I were to say to you, are you glad I'm directing you? You would say, you read the line, yes, I am. Good, then you understand. Are you nodding your head? Fine, because that's your stage direction. If you've never acted before, don't worry. I've always enjoyed directing actors who bring to the stage nothing more than their raw instincts. After all, the only difference between a De Niro and a Brando is they've had more experience and are far more talented than you. Tonight, you'll be playing the role of Mary Lou and you'll be playing opposite Steve Martin, Michael York, Pam Dauber, Benny Luke, and George Papard as the Colonel. You will need the following props, so get them quickly. A glass of brandy, a handkerchief, a hairbrush, lipstick, rouge, a pistol loaded with quarter wad blanks, and a smoked Virginia ham butt. Quickly now. You have all your props? Good. Have a lot of fun and break a leg. Albany! Albany! The door! Colonel, sir, you told me yesterday that since the Yankees won the war, you didn't ever want the door answered again. Well, my boy dad has been under a great strain these last few days. Who's in the war? Cotton fields all burned. Slaves set free. And here on my, my youngest son, Johnny, is dead. You want to stay in Albany? My poor dad is not himself. Yes, Mrs. Pelty. I'll get the dough. If it's a Yankee, kill him. <laughs> Why, Colonel, it's Johnny's fiance, Mary Lou Charleston. Mary Lou, come on in. Uh, give Mary Lou a brandy. Here you go. <laughs> Take it. You'll need it. <laughs> Mary Lou, I'm afraid we've, we've got some bad news. Daddy? Missy? It's my other brother, Hasty. What a horrid day this has been. The South's in flames. And the slaves you starch when they loaned to my silk hanky. <laughs> Why, hello, Miss Mary Lou. You're looking real happy. Hasn't anyone told you Johnny's day? I'm afraid it's true. <laughs> Your uh, theatrics don't impress me. I know since Don has been gone, you've been with everybody on the plantation. The hired hands, the animals, and half the farm equipment. <laughs> Here, take this. <laughs> and don't carry on so. Now, you and I can have that affair. 
we've been talking about for years. Then Larry Lou, he quit whimpering like a cat. He'd just been run over on one of those newfangled horseless carriages. Just accept the fact that Johnny's dead. She took it bad and I couldn't expect it. Colonel, Missy, Hasty, Mary Lou, it's a miracle. I think I see Johnny coming up the path. Mary Lou, it's been three long years since I've seen you, held you, touched you. Remember this? <laughs> the thought of you was the only thing that kept me going. What about the thought of me? And me, your older but better looking brother. And your dear sister? Well, I'm happy to see you two again, too. But Mary Lou, I've longed to touch you, especially right here. <laughs> Do you still love me? Tell me any way you can. <laughs> what the hell she's saying? Beats the hell out of me. I think she's pregnant. Pregnant? Why, that's wonderful. That means I'm gonna be a father. <laughs> I've been gone three years. Three years. <laughs> you tramp. <laughs> you can see her underwear. <laughs> She does something crazy. Mary Lou, give me the smoked ham butt. <laughs> hey, Albany, it's yours in lieu of freedom. <laughs> Johnny. Don't do this. Give me the gun. I love you.